Okay, now we are live. Yeah, perfect timing. Uh, so I just mentioned a little while ago, we weren't live though yet, but I believe we're live now again. And for some reason, uh, yeah, bring that over here and we'll do that for sure. Uh, let's make sure we're all working though first. That's got my name and stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, that's neat. <laughs> Billy and Cindy's Garden Party. It's featuring Alex Caldwell. Take one. <laughs> we got it up and running. Sorry, guys, uh, we had a little problem with the internet. Ooh, I got guitar. But here he is, and it's 5 4 right on time. Uh, uh, yeah, I might, might need to switch cables in a bit. Right. Yeah, See how one. it works. Yeah. So, uh, as I mentioned a little earlier, uh, I met this man uh, about, well, i got to be 10 years now, right? Or gotta yeah, be. That's, that's when he met me. Yeah. I met him long before uh, that. Uh, Alex was doing a, a band thing at Holiday Isle before it was a postcard in, or maybe it was right around the transition. But in any case, uh, I was with Steve Webb. We did the early shift, and he did the later shift. And uh, that's how I, he got a chance to see what I was doing here. I guess he was already knew what I did anyways, but I didn't know. In any case, I saw him, and I said, man, that guy can sing his ass off. I like his voice. So uh, we became good friends, and we've done shared gigs together and shared golf. Yeah. Whiskey. Yeah, and whiskey <laughs> together, too. So please put your hands together for my special guest, Mr. Alex Caldwell, right here. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, funny story, actually. I think on the Facebook you put the uh, uh, my my little bio thing that I typed up in about 20 seconds at my house last night. Uh, <laughs> uh, on there I posted, you know, I, I uh, my first real job playing music was playing with Micah, and my first gig with Micah was with Steve Webb, which was by far the most terrifying thing to this day I've done in my life. <laughs> he shows up with, you know guitar and fiddle and I just had no idea why I wasn't allowed in the room in the first place but it was cool it was a lot of fun and Steve has always been super super nice and very uh inspiring and encouraging you know he never once made me feel like I was less than him as a musician you know he's such a good dude he actually came and jammed with me <laughs> came and jammed with me a couple weeks ago the word was Billy was supposed to be there, but <laughs> I get it, dude. I'm really just killing time because I don't know what I'm going to play. <laughs> this is how my shows go, too, if you ever see me live. <laughs> All right, my girlfriend asked me to do this one earlier, so I might as well do it now. <laughs> Tell me how your love runs through How I can 
must count on you Be there when the bullets fly I run across the river just to hold you Circle as red like a little feather in you, calling out the clouds of rain. I go running through the thicket, I go careless through the thorn, just to hold up for a minute, though it leave me wanting more. Hold me close, my dear. Sing your whispering song. I don't want, uh, I think I'm going to swap that cable out if that's real cool real quick. Yeah. Cool. I got one. I, it was just here. Ooh, no, that's good. It, it's, yeah, it's just, it's just this side. It's not this end of my pedal board. Yeah, I'm good now. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, cheers, everybody. Thanks for uh, having me. Billy and Cindy, you got a lovely garden back here. I really... Uh, Appreciate the whiskey, too. I'll make sure it does not go to waste. For the kids at home, that means I'm probably getting laid tonight. <laughs> I think I'm still muted. <laughs> okay. I don't want to mess with anything over there. Yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Suzanne, the plans they made it put an end to you. Walked out this morning, I wrote down this song. Just can't remember who to send it to. Oh, well, I've seen fire, I've seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen a lonely time when I could not find a friend. 
I always thought that I'd see you again Won't you look down on me, Jesus? You've got to help me make a stand i got to make it through another day my body's aching, my time is at hand. I won't make it any other way. Oh, well, I've seen fire, I've seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen a lonely time. Could not find a friend. I always thought that I'd see you again. Been walking my mind through an easy time. My back turned towards the sun. When a cold wind blows, you know that it will turn your head around. Spend time on the telephone line Talking about things that come Sweet dreams and flying machines They fall to pieces on the ground Oh, well, I've seen fire I've seen rain I've seen sunny days That I thought would never end I've seen a lonely time Always thought that I'd see you, baby, one more time again now. I thought I'd see you one more time again. But there's just a few things coming my way this time around. I thought I'd see you, thought I'd see you one more time around now. Oh. I've seen fire, I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end I've seen a lonely time where I could not find a friend I always thought that I'd see you again Yeah, thank you. Oh. James Taylor. Billy, if you don't mind, a little less of my, a uh, little less of my vocal in that, and then the headset, yeah. This is fun. It's not awkward at all. Yeah, that's that's my that's that's my thing. My uh, my shtick on a microphone, apparently, from what I've been told from my bandmates and such, is either depressing or unrecognizable sarcasm. So cheers, you guys are great. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. <clears throat> I learned this song, um, I used to do a Sunday afternoon brunch gig up at the Buzzard's Roost back. Uh, 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 2010, maybe? <laughs> 10 years ago-ish. My little sister was coming up with my aunt to see me play one morning, uh, and I wanted her to think I was cool, so I learned this song. <laughs> She was in uh, seventh grade or something at the time. Oddly enough, um, I hear this song on the radio still all the time today, even though nobody knows what it is. My hair is stuck in the clouds. She begs me to calm down, says, boy, quit fooling around. I told her I love you from up here. The warm sun, knowing in my ear, will 
watch the world from above as it turns to the rhythm of love. We may only have tonight until the morning sun, you're my eye. Oh, my. Play the music, love, swing to the rhythm of love. My heart beats like a drum, guitar string to the sun, a beautiful song to be sung. She's got blue eyes deep like the sea, that roll back, she's laughing at me. She rises up, lights a tide, a moment her lips meet mine. We may only have tonight, until the Did I tell you this guy could sing? <laughs> that was beautiful, brother. Awesome. Cindy, can you hold this up for me next to the camera so we can get a, a good look at this? Folks, uh, as you, uh, we put a tip jar out here at, for the live audience, but all, we also are looking for virtual tips. Grab this. I'm going to donate 100% of my proceeds to a new liver. <laughs> You can screenshot that. As you can see, folks, uh, we do. The, he's he's here completely for free. I mean, I got him some jack. Yeah, yes. I was gonna say not completely free. <laughs> <laughs> but in any case, uh, whatever you can donate, we'd really appreciate it, so we can con continue to do this. This is going on to the uh, end of April, and then next year, I'm gonna try to find some sponsors so I can actually pay these guys. So that's my plan. But you guys are lucky; you get, you get to get the free show. But if you want to put some donations in there. It'd be very much appreciated, all right? So there you have it right there. Follow, just read that uh, thing that Cindy has up for you, and uh, we appreciate it. All right, thanks. You can also, uh, you know, give Billy some money in person. He plays down at the Lorelei like 19 days a week for the last 65 years. <laughs> Is that too many, too many jokes? <laughs> 63. Yeah. No, I do really appreciate you guys having me up here, man. It's really, really cool. I grew up watching, you know, Billy and Steve and and uh, Paul Case and and all that. And um, actually, Paul Moen was a good friend of mine for a while there. And I, I love Paul. He used to come see me. I used to do Sundays at uh, Paradise Pub, which is now the Catch here in Key Largo. And Paul used to come in every every time. He'd bring his own bottle of wine because they didn't carry the wine he liked, and they just totally like, yeah, sure, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, he would sit there and he'd, he'd hang out with me every Sunday and we'd get really, really drunk together and then we'd probably go to the Caribbean Club. <laughs> um, 
but uh, me and Paul were talking about playing songs to, to fuck with people. Like, specific songs that we learned just to, like, mess with people. So I learned the uh, Hanson song, the Mbop, to see how that would go over. Not very well. Surprisingly, one that I also learned to mess with people didn't mess with anybody. But I ended up getting a lot of people that kept asking me to play it. So here it is, you know, 12, 13 years later, and I still play the song. And I still get asked to play it, like, pretty regularly. So this is it. This is, so this is, uh, this was, this was one of Paul's, uh, suggestions for songs to fuck with people. He actually said, this one specifically was the one he said was a good gauge to test how drunk your audience is. And I'll explain that after the song.
got your roses in bloom Like it's a bloom on the bridge Stop punching it too hard <laughs> Thanks so the, the joke there with Paul was that um, you can tell how drunk your crowd is when you play that song by how many people scream, baby. <laughs> Granted, it's probably the mistake to play the like extended version, but you know, I get paid for my time, not my effort. Sure. Okay, I'll do, I'll, I'll do that. No, I'll, I'll do that now. I'm capo there. It's, uh, my voice is feeling just shitty enough that I gotta <laughs> lean on a crutch, and that's an easy one. So. <laughs> you need some of this, Bill? You need you need a couple swigs off of this bad boy right here. <laughs> You're very welcome. So this is a fun one. Um, I think I think as a as a musician working uh, so many days a week like like we all do down here, you know, uh, you get to a point where it's like I don't want to touch this fucking thing if I'm not working, you know. And it's uh, it it becomes like a kind of existential thing where you wonder who, what your identity is because playing music is all I've wanted since I was a little kid. And now I do it all the time. <laughs> so the the one great thing to come out of quarantine was that um, I didn't have to play seven, six, or seven days a week, and I could actually just like look at my guitar as like something to, you know, enjoy and and kill some boredom. And so um, I was taking my third nap of the day at one point, as we tend to do during quarantine. <laughs> And uh, I was laying there, obviously I couldn't sleep because I was, you know, all caught up from the last 18 years of not sleeping. Um, and this song got stuck in my head and I couldn't for the life of me uh, tell why because I hadn't heard it in years. So I got up and uh, decided to learn it and learned it and recorded it video and, and audio and posted it on Facebook in less than an hour because it's a three chord song but it's a great three chord song so uh, Billy asked me to play it and I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys real quick because I think it's a good song I got a video I don't know if I ever told you this I got a video a couple weeks after I posted this from uh, Patrick Knotts he, he, he uh, took a video of himself playing some uh, uh, dobro over top of it. Yeah, it was pretty cool, man. It was pretty neat. Like, that was kind of a neat thing. I was like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> the funny thing was, when I started playing live again, I didn't know how to play this song. Because <laughs> I played it that one time and then never thought about it again, really.
You know what's funny is uh, the first time you and I sat on stage together, I was like, I should not be here. I should not. <laughs> I, had, I had 20 years of watching you play live under my belt. It was very intimidating. Actually, the weirdest part was looking at your guitar rack. He had a guitar, an acoustic guitar, a mandolin, and he was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, this guy. But then at that uh postcard gig we got we got drunk a handful of times together. I wasn't I wasn't as intimidated after that. You guys kept telling me, like, if you want ever want to come early and sit in, I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should sit down and like write out like what I was going to do. And then I got caught up watching Cobra Kai, so I didn't do any of that anyway. <laughs> nah, that's all. I, was, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to go up and have fun. That's what it's all about anyway. So throughout my uh, career playing uh, solo gigs, I have only sought out to actually learn maybe 50 songs. 
the rest of them for the majority were learned because I got paid to do a wedding or something. This was one of them. But now I, I keep playing it. My sister sings it with me, actually, and I really love doing that with her. It's really cool. Like, Billy, I, I met your sister, was that, like, three weeks ago? Yeah, it was really cool meeting her because when Billy met my sister and saw us singing together, he's like, man, me and my sister do the same thing. And it's really cool watching you guys sing together, too. I was like, oh, shit, is this how Billy felt watching me and my sister sing? Like, that's cool. Although, your sister... That would be super cool. But your sister has more uh, more confidence in stage presence than my sister does. I don't know why she lacks the confidence. She's amazing, but. That's true, yeah. For those of you at home that didn't hear, you said golf, was it your reference? What did you say? Uh, well, you surround yourself with better people and it comes out of you, that's what, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna shut up and play. Can you imagine if I wasn't getting paid for my normal gigs and this is my show? <laughs> if you get enough sponsors, I will play here seven days a week. <laughs> Do you hear me? I'm talking to you. Across the water, across the deep blue. Oh, shine to the open skies with all my baby. I'm trying. Boy, I hear you in my dreams. I hear you whisper across the sea. I keep you with me in my heart. You make it easier when life gets hard. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Like to be coming home again. Sailing through the seas to an island where we'll meet. We'll hear the music, it fills the air. I'll put a flower in your hair. Through the breezes, all through the trees, and we so pretty. You're all I see. And as the world keeps spinning round, you hold me by here, right now. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend Lucky to have been what I have been Lucky to be coming home again Lucky we're in love in every way Lucky to have seen what I have seen Lucky to be coming home again Really? All right. Um, 
I didn't want to do this song, but for some reason I feel like doing it now. <laughs> I heard this song, my, my girlfriend, my beautiful, beautiful lady, showed me this song about two years ago, and, and I actually just fell in love with this guy's voice, man. He's such a phenomenal singer. And uh, so I learned this song for her. To surprise her uh, next time she came out to see me play. And I played it for her. And obviously, I can't sing like this dude. But, but I still enjoy playing this song. And I still play it for her once in a while. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you sure you're not, you don't wish I was, well, I guess fatter and more Scottish? Waiting on, saving all my precious time. I'm losing light. I'm missing my same old loves. I will learn our truths too late. It's time to fade, fading away. Are you gonna turn around? Either way, tear me down. Are you gonna turn around? But either way, hold me while you wait. I wish it I was good enough. If only I could wake you up, my love, my love. Tell me something I don't know. If we up close, having it all, are you gonna waste my time? Let's waste it right and hold me while you wait. I wish it I was good enough. If only I could wake you up, my love, my love. This is all we need, so won't you stay and hold me while you wait? I wish you cared a little more. I wish you told me this before. My Forgot some of the words. <laughs> the funny part is I forgot the first half of the chorus, which I'd done three other times earlier in the song. Whiskey. That's a good advertisement, isn't it? They sent me a box of shit a few years ago. I got yeah, I got a shirt, uh, keychains, guitar picks, um, a water bottle. Um, they sent it to me, uh, David Whitten, our bass player, um, um, J.P. Farr, and oh, and Rob. Yeah, d sorry, David wasn't our bass player back then. David was my lead guitar player back then because he is truly an incredible musician. 
if he's watching, I'm going to get a blowjob later. <laughs> if, his wife's, if his wife's watching, I'm going to get punched in the face later. <laughs> oh, man, this is a good time, man. I appreciate you guys uh, having me here. Billy uh, invited me. I'm so, I'm so glad I get to do this. <clears throat> so I got... Uh, I'm very easy. I get, I get pressured into situations I don't particularly want to be. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I get forced into playing songs and gigs that I don't want to do. This isn't one of them. That's not why I'm saying that. This is a song. I got pressured into learning this song, and as I was learning this song, the song that came next on the playlist was this song. Not, not, not relative. I was just saying, I learned this song by accident because it came on the radio and I was like, oh, that's a four chord song, I could do it. And then I got on stage and tried to play it and it was horrible. I was like, holy shit, that's not what I thought it was at all. So kids at home, if you're planning to uh, play a Chris Stapleton song on the fly, make sure it's in the right key because he doesn't sound like he has the range he does.
that's I, I, I plan I plan either a half step or a full step lower than he does. I know, it's crazy. It's fucking insane, man. The guy's amazing. I know. That's the first time I've heard anyone go this fast. It's great, great, great stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that. All the time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was a that was a fun. <laughs> <laughs> too kind. Well, I'm saving one to play with you. Mm. I'm playing one you don't know to play with you. This is all over, too. Yeah, that's a fun song, man. Chris Stapleton, I... You know, I've never been a, a big, big country fan, but I, I do uh, quite like some country, um, as long as it's actual country. <laughs> actual country. Uh, uh, Hank Williams III wrote a song about that. Did I ever tell you that? Show you that? Uh, it, it's called The Dick and Dixie. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I guess Toby Keith came out saying he was going to be the new outlaw country. <laughs> I thought it was funny, too. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm playing through some songs here, man. Oh, we're good. They can ask in the comments if they really no, want to. No, this is this is part of the deal here. So, folks, as you may or may not know, one of the, all my guest artists are playing for free. And let me see if we got that right. All right. So what? Uh, for all the folks that are out there watching, uh, I, as I just mentioned, these guys are playing for free, so please donate. You know, there's the uh, there's the uh, Venmo and the PayPal. We also have a tip jar here for all the folks in the audience that want to put some money in there too. All the money goes to this man right here, and uh, like I said, eventually down the road, we're gonna get we're gonna get all the musicians paid so we can do this year in and year out, and that's that's the plan anyways. But right now, enjoy for free. <laughs> but, but still put money in. <laughs> oh, now I'm here. Yes, darling. Huh? Yes, please. I will say, you know, um, I really do appreciate you guys having me here, but I'm not playing for free, man. I'm, I'm playing for fun. I'm playing because I get to hang out with my friends. I, I am convinced that the reason that Billy started doing this is because as a musician, you know how it is. Like, we... We never get nights off together, you know? It's like, oh, I have this really cool gig coming up. It's like, oh, I wish I could make it, but I'm working, you know? It's it's always something like that. Uh, just like me bringing my friends out here tonight, you know? I, I, I don't have many that are off on a Monday night, which is a good thing um, until I need to move. <laughs> but I'm convinced that Billy is doing this just so he gets an opportunity to hang out with all of his friends. And I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you having me over and buy me whiskey and now I got a what is this oh a beer I got a Stella Ooh, I'm <laughs> listen <laughs> I will drink whatever you put in front of me at this point for those of you at home that don't notice I'm not sober we'll see Gracie, come on. Say hello to everybody. The cameras are, cameras are right there. She has more followers on social media than I do. Cameras are right there. She has more followers on social media than I do. I like, shared you on TikTok. Like, a lot more. <laughs> like, she's at like 63,000. There you go. Can we go share you on TikTok? She actually makes money off of social media from being so popular on social media.
I don't know who's watching um, my phones over there, um, but my brother, my older brother, Chuck, he always asked me to play this song. I, I don't do it live because it's not, a, it's not a great song to play at Sharky's at 11 o'clock, you know what I mean? But um, this is a, a rare situation. I can, I can play this song tonight. I learned this song for a friend of mine that used to work down at uh, the Florida Keys Brewing, uh, Brewing Cup Brewery. Florida Keys Brewery? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, you're wearing the shirt. <laughs> I, I learned it for a friend of mine about, uh, years ago, a long, long time ago. And I, I love the song. I really do. Um, I, I recorded a video of me playing it in my living room for a buddy of mine when I was, uh, uh, I'd just woken up. I was, I was not ready to do anything, but he was asking for a video of it, so. Anyway, my brother watches it all the time and he always begs me to play it and I never get to, so I'm gonna do it in case he's watching. Punchment for my face. I know what you think about fighting, but I just can't walk away. Maybe I'm just a loser, a loser. May I move and quit? Maybe I, I just don't give a shit. I can't make real all your dreams Buy you shiny pretty things Any religion Or money in the bank But I can promise in my secrets And I will fight for you Hoping the light would still be on Wishing I was smart enough To turn around and go home But maybe I'm just a fool I'm being foolish May I know when to quit May I I just don't give a fuck I can't make real all your dreams Cause I got some of my own But I can wrap you in love Love that you can feel now to the bone But I can promise you my secrets That I would fight for you Thank you, thank you. Uh, There's a guy named Joey Neiser. He uh, wrote an entire album after uh, years of playing music in different bands, different punk bands and such throughout the uh, 90s and 2000s, and then he decided that he didn't want to be part of any of it, but he kept writing music, so he just released it all on his website for free. <laughs> he he called me out. Yeah, yeah. Russ Pella wants everybody to know that my first name is actually Craig. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> That's okay.
Was it the the last one I did? Uh, I'll ask her when I see her. I'll see her on uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Yes, darling. I don't remember. I think that's it. <laughs> hey, Russ, if you look at my uh, PayPal name, <laughs> or no, not my PayPal, it's my, my, my Venmo name, you'll see it's C.A. Caldwell. I ain't lying to nobody. Say it again? I don't know. I, I can't see any of it. My phone's over here running the Wi-Fi. She was supposed to be here, I thought. Wasn't Savannah supposed to be here? Oh. Is this, is this what we're doing now? We're just reading the comments? <laughs> so I'm good with that. I'll stand here. Is it a roast? What's going on? <laughs> Should I strike a pose? Take a picture? No, I, I really do. I want, to, I want to do one more song. Then I want to get Billy up. I want, to, I want to throw Billy under the bus and make him play a song he's never played before. And I think that's our time anyway, right, to, to, to start playing. Oh, well, I think technically it's already our time, but. I don't know. Just hit the button and look at it. It's at 40%. And we're good. Yeah, we're good. What's that? Uh, maybe, I don't know. That's not their real name, so... Am I expected to know? Oh, in the, oh, was this, I thought you were talk, asking about a person. No, I don't know what that is. Clearly, I have no idea what that is. Look, I drank a bottle of whiskey. I've got lights in my face, and i got people firing questions at me, all right? What am I supposed to expect? Oh, Crash. Oh, um, is that the song that once there was this guy? No, I don't know that song. That's like, I would need to move that song up like two full octaves. That's so low. Dreams of loneliness like a heartbeat 
a fleet with Mac. I'm a, I want my buddy Billy to come play this next one with me. I would love to. <laughs> Cindy, can we do the slate one more time, the Venmo slate? I mean, I appreciate you guys, but... Again, everybody uh, that's out there in uh, live stream land, please give uh, give some money. Come on, give it up. You can you can afford it. Twenty bucks. Come on. There you have it. Uh, while we're getting ready for the next thing, uh, so I, I just want to give the I had a couple more updates for the uh, schedule, and uh, I got Frank Carmelitano to come to do uh, one of our shows. I can't wait for that. That's so cool. So uh, Scott Youngberg will be next week. Yeah. Um, I think it's Tuesday. I'll have to check. Cindy, if you could check that for me. I think it's Tuesday. And then the following week, Nick Kimball and Chris Basin from the Carousers. Dave Fader the following week. Kevin Hurley. Vic Kingsley from Brothers of Others. Steve Webb. Chris Bellamy. Dennis Holmes. Luke Summer Glenn. Leah Suter. Frank Carmelitano, like I just mentioned. That's pretty cool. Derek from Brothers of Others. Tom Reasy. Robin Fear. Erickson Holt. And Joshua Stedman. Another Brothers of Other Boy. And uh, yeah, so we got a, our, our lineup is complete. We have uh, everybody that uh, we can do for this year. And uh, like I said, next year we're going to try to figure out a way that we can get some sponsors so we can pay these guys to do this. Uh, okay, so uh, that's everything. Yeah, okay, we're good. I'm laughing because I am so out of place in that lineup. I should not be here. That is hilarious, man. That being said, I'm very happy I got to share the stage with a lot of those folks at some point. What's up? That's okay. Baby. I'm not here for the money. I'm here for the good time. I'm here for the party.
a key. I'm good. I don't do G. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hi, Marilyn. How'd you made it? Who let you in here? I have to ask. The police called me earlier this week looking for you. I'm bugged right now. <laughs> yeah, likely story. It's good to see you guys. Really great to see you guys. Thank you for hanging out. All right. Just go ahead and go for it. I'll find G, you. G, F, and C. I'll find you.
up for Mr. Billy Davidson. That was, that was the song you turned me on to. That's the song you turned me on to with, with him, that children's guy there. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah that's that's awesome. I love that. I love that. Great one, man. Can I ask you to do me a favor? Sure. Can you play one song for me? Can, me? Yeah. Why not? Because I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> You're going to have to wait because Steve's ahead of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We'll do one. No, go, no, no, really. Seriously. Yeah. You're, you're good. You've been up here drinking uh, for an hour and a half, so I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Has it been that long? Steve, hurry up in there. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> no, let's, we'll do, we'll let's do the do a little Beatles diddly. Sure. D- diddy, diddly. Sure you don't want to do that, uh, David Bowie? Let's, let's save that for the end. <laughs> <laughs> when everybody tunes up. <laughs> Uh, tune in, was it tune in? Was yeah. it a tune in drop? Uh, fuck, yeah. I can't remember the. Yeah, that doctor, was a Dr. Leary. Dr. Leary yeah. Tune in, turn on, drop out. Yeah, tune in, turn on, drop out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's a hippies thing. You were that was way before your time. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> that video's all the shit when I was a kid. I was basically raised in the sixties and the nineties home. I hear you, man. I do. I mean, my, my daughter's the same way. I mean, she's the same way. She uh, she knows more songs from my era than I do. She's 30, 40 years younger. <laughs> Battery getting low? Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. No, it's okay. I'll wait. We'll do a we'll do a song first. <laughs> right Cindy, I could uh, use a refill here if we have any more left. If we don't, I don't. That's it. We're out. All right. Why don't you grab me a grab me a beer or something out of the cooler? Yeah, one of those uh, Stellas would be B- good. Bill and Shawnee were generous enough to bring these Stellas with them. I'll have a Stella. Billy would like one if that's yeah. all right. Thank you. And you know what? I would. Uh, yeah, I would like it. Is, uh, did we find out next week, uh, is, it, uh, is it Monday, Monday, Cindy D, is it Monday or Tuesday for Scott Youngberg? I know oh. Scott's not next week, but is it Monday or is it Tuesday? You know, the thing is, Scott Youngberg is actually the funniest person on the internet. Whenever I get bored, all right, whenever I'm on the toilet, (laughs) I look, I literally specifically pull up Scott Youngberg's Facebook and I just scroll because it is hilarious. He's got it. He's got got a crazy sense of humor, doesn't he? Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for having me. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I he showed, said, let's do a Beatles song. I showed up one day to a gig, and he plays the Beatles tune. He, <laughs> it was my 61st, 65th birthday. <laughs> he played when I'm 64. I go, you know what? Did you know it was my birthday? No. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I was just playing. The, uh, the story behind me learning that song was, again, as I said, like uh, I didn't have cable when I was, I didn't have TV when I was a kid. So we had a VHS player, and every day I, I was living up in Lake Surprise, I'd come home from school. I was like eight years old, and I'd pop in that yellow cassette tape. My favorite joke, this is why my sense of humor is so twisted, because my favorite joke my entire life was, I've got the hole in me pocket. Cut the hole in the pocket from the Beatles Yellow Submarine. The Yellow Submarine video, yeah. Course, yeah, yeah. Where, where uh, was it Ringo, I Ringo. think? Picks up a hole, literally picks up a hole off the floor and sticks it in his pocket. He goes, I got a hole. And I thought that was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. It was one of the funniest shit I've ever it seen. It still is one it of the funniest is. shit I've ever seen in my life. And that molded my sense of humor so for my Beatles. entire life. So Beatles humor, that's their humor they have for sure. Exactly. But shortly following that, that uh, scene was them... Doing. You want to do that one? Yeah. What are we in that for this one? I forget. Uh, Yellow submarine. Scott. Okay. Scott Youngberg will be here on Tuesday next week. Tuesday. So it goes Mondays and went, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. The reason why is because like tomorrow he's working, so he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Mondays. So Mondays or Tuesdays next week. Scott Youngberg Tuesdays. And we're in key of uh, for this one. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm not capable. What I meant is I'm not capable. I got you. 
All right, this is a great one, man. This is uh, this has been one of my favorite Beatles songs. This is one of the songs I worked the hardest on learning. Ooh, nice. I chugged a beer. I'm nice sorry. Out. <laughs> I do. We're gonna do this song. Then, then he's go. going. Yeah, I'm right behind. I'm going. I'm gonna go in there with him. Ooh, <laughs> looks like you're stuck up here, Bill Wheeler, by yourself, bud. <laughs> Get old, I'm losing my head Many years from now But you still be singing me Valentine A birthday greetings, bottle of wine If I've been out a quarter to three Would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Or will you still feed me? When I'm 64 A Sunday morning's go for a ride Doing the garden, digging the weeds Who could ask for more? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64 Every summer we can rent a cottage in the Isle of Wight It's not too dear We shall scrape and shall scrape and say God, drop me a line, 18 points of view. In the game, besides the words you mean to say, you are sincerely wasting away. Give me an answer, a pill in the form, mine forevermore. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Oh! All right, Alex got to go pee. So I guess I'm yeah, going to do I a do. song here. I'm going to do the pee song. <laughs> I got to pee. I got to be me. I got to pee. I got to pee. Okay, let's see here. Let, let me... Yeah. <laughs> you might take a poop. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> take a shower, man. Go ahead. <laughs> take a shit. Take a shower. Shave. Whatever you want, brother. <laughs> Yeah, we have an outdoor shower here in our uh, garden party. Actually, that was the uh, catalyst for this whole thing. Uh, we, we were Sydney. <laughs> There's also no roof, he said. <laughs> yes, you can climb up. Yeah, you can climb up over there. You can watch Alex uh, do his thing here. But yeah, we uh, when we st first started, it was right during the pandemic, and Cindy and I started bringing flowers home from the uh, Home Depot each time, and it's like. You know, I'm really, uh, actually, I remember now, the, the catalyst was uh, our, Cindy's brother, my brother-in-law, Alan, I love him to death, he was out here, and he, <laughs> he took our hose, and he hooked it over something, so, <laughs> so he, just, he just does not want to take showers in, inside, and I don't blame him, because 
after he did that, I said, you know, we need to have an outdoor shower. And once we did the outdoor shower, I have not been in my shower in my house for, for a year now. <laughs> I swear to God. There's nothing like an outdoor shower. It just can't beat it. I highly suggest if you, you know, maybe it might be not so uh, convenient, <laughs> especially right now in New York. But I, I highly recommend an outdoor shower. It's, it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> They asked him, did you wash your hands? <laughs> All right, smoke your cigarette, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do that last, we'll do the last song here. I'm trying to think of what to play here. I'm having too much fun up here. Uh, is, this, is this fun, and is this more fun than you ever had in your life? Yeah, it's, it's better than... Uh, A lot of fun doing this. Really, really, really fun. Oh, what should I do? I'm trying to think of something uh, special, but I can't think of nothing here. Uh, dirt. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a song by Paul Case. Yeah, I just learned this. Just learned this song with my sister, and uh, absolutely, absolutely love playing the song now again. I mean, I always have, but when you rediscover a song and you go, oh my God, I forgot how good that song is, that's just kind of what I'm going through right now with this one. Uh, let's see, where is it now? It's up. Uh, come on, Brain. It's called a little more heart. What what we really need in this world is just a little more heart. Paul, if you're out there, it's for you, brother. Love you. You can scream and shout and tell me you don't love me. That you're sorry That would be a start oh, But what we really need Is a little more heart you love me I can see it in your eyes and I know that it hurts you every time you cry I can tell you that I'm sorry and that did be a start What we really need is a little more heart, is a little more heart, is a little more heart. Tell me that you need me 
I don't buy it. You can tell me that you love me. We've already tried it. We can say that we're sorry. That could be a start. What we really need is a little more heart. Thank you. That's Paul Case wrote that song, A Little More Heart. <laughs> All right, so this last song we're going to do, Alex and I, <laughs> every time we do it, every, well, we can do a couple more. We, oh, we got the other one. All right, right, well, good. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm game. We're going to play a little over. I'm good. We got this other one that I want to do because we, we do some great harmonies on it. Well, yeah, okay. So we're, well, it's a Beatles song. Oh, no, the, 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 well, the, yeah, okay. We can work it out, right? Yeah. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, let's do that one first. We can work it out. Actually, maybe we should do the bow because that's we, what I'm saying. We fuck it up. I was saying, like, we'll let's have, do the bow. We'll we have, have a, a chance of a redemption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jackie and Kelly. Thanks for the tip, brother. I saw the money coming in the Venmo there last week or whenever it was. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. And hope you guys are coming. It sounded like you. Well, there's a possibility that we might see you. This freaking COVID is really freaking stupid. Is that the right one? That's it. That's, that's a good chord, man. See that chord? <laughs> so I just taught them that one today. So Proud if you're you. if you're if your kids are learning to play guitar, tell them this is what they have to look forward to. That's <laughs> very <laughs> good. That's a tough chord. That's a tough, tough one to grab. I know that's similar because it's not. Yeah. Oh, you well, I did know that chord at one once upon a time. We 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 actually used to both know this song. <laughs> that was about six months and a lot of alcohol ago, though. Uh, we uh, uh, he moved away for a while and. Uh, he was Five weeks. He was great. <laughs> he didn't know at the time how long he was going to be going, but That's true. he moved away and he said, uh, "I want you to have my Friday night gig at Sharky's." And I said, "I I love Sharky's, but just in case something happens and you end up coming back, it's not my gig. <laughs> you can come back and you can have your gig back." And then five weeks later, it didn't work out. He came back and I didn't give it back to him. <laughs> no, he did. He did me one better. So uh, I got a, it was so weird. It was like a, I don't know, just just perfect timing. But the uh, it was. a place called the Pilot House called me and said we need somebody to do Fridays. And I said, you know what? I got a really good idea. How about you? Every other week, well, you have Alex Caldwell or Billy Davidson. They said, boom, done. <laughs> so, you know, the both rest of is history. Yeah, like, so. man, I love both of you guys. That's a, that's a win-win perfect. for everybody. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It really worked out great. And it works out great for us too because we get to do something different every right, week so and a, a different crowd. And yeah, it's it's really nice. I really enjoy it. Yeah, that was that was meant to be. So if you ever show up to Sharky's looking for me, just move over to Pilot House. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Go to see the young guy. <laughs> the younger, prettier one. <laughs> Yeah, right. Okay, you could do that, or you could see a good musician. <laughs> you got options. All right, let's get this song up here. Let's give it a shot. Let's give this a whirl. Cheers, Mr. Billy Davidson. I love you. Thank you so much for having me, bud. See you on the other side. <laughs> see you on the other side of the song. I, I uh, listened to this earlier today to make sure I knew where my, my parts come in. Uh, 
handled out the drama. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Three, two, check ignition and make God's love be with you. This is ground control to Major Tom. his shirt. good that was good yeah you got that chord too brother yeah I did, boom I, did, I, I, did. I thought when i hit it i was like i fucking nailed it <laughs> that was it right there <laughs> fucking got it man show young fuckers <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, what a good time. Thank you guys so much for having me. I want to thank Billy and Cindy for allowing me to uh, pollute their backyard. <laughs> no, it's really cool that you guys do this, man. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome to come at any, uh, any of the shows. Please come. You know, we'd love to have you here. You if know. they're on a Monday, I will. Mondays or Tuesday. Will, next do, week's Tuesday. I will Tuesday, do my best yeah. to get off the couch. Yeah. She, she'll drag me. Grace says she's going to drag me off the couch yeah. when they're on a Monday. Definitely get you out for a and, and those of you that are here, man, that's, it's just surprising. I thought it was just going to be me and my girlfriend and, and Bill and Shawnee, maybe. And I'm really glad the rest of you guys are here. Some of you I haven't seen in a long time. Bill and Jan, thank you so much for hanging out. And then, you know, uh, d you guys, Dave, like, thank you for hanging out. You made me go like, oh, it's that sort of event. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Nah, it's been a great time, man. Thank you guys so much for having me, really. We're going to do one more song together because I really love the harmonies we do in this one. Yeah, me too. That last one wasn't so bad either. <laughs> I can't wait to go back and watch that one. Next time I see it, say, watch the video. So I don't think I'm going to watch it because normally I watch back and I go, oh, shit, that wasn't. No, that was, delete that. <laughs> no, that was really good. Trust me. Until we watch, till we watch back. Ah, no, that was really good. I, I got a pretty good memory. That was really good. <laughs> Try to see it my way Do I have to keep on talking till I can walk? Why to see it your way? Run the risk of knowing that our love is soon be gone We can work it out We can work it out Think of what I'm saying We can work it out And still you think that it's alright Think of what I'm saying Mr. Billy Davidson, thank you guys so much for Mr. having Mr. Alex me. Caldwell right here. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it, guys. What a great time. Now let's get drunk and turn all this off. That's right. <laughs> See you next week, everybody. You want to hear one more? For sure, but I'll do, do the. Want, do I'll wanna, play the guitar. Do you want to I'd rather you do the lead. I'll do the lead. Yeah, I'll do the lead. Yeah. So I'll sing yeah. it. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> kind of feel like a douchebag for doing this. <laughs> I used to spend.
spend my nights down in a ballroom. I'm kidding. I'm just teasing. <laughs> what version is that? <laughs> That's the George Jones, David Allen yeah, Coe right. version. He was the first, yeah. That was the first version, right? David Allen Coe was the first. Uh, I prefer the George Jones version because I don't really like David Allen Coe for personal reasons. <clears throat> we are in the key of dog, D, dog. Or G, a, a. 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 I got a K God, Billy, I love you so much. <laughs> He's just like, let me just do this real quick. And I'm like, oh my God, that sounds so good. <laughs> you want you want to meet me in the bathroom, don't you? <laughs> oh, for real? No. Hey, look, look, look. We got a private room right behind us. We do. Yeah, we have. A, look, yeah, but it. there's nothing like an outdoor shower. <laughs> Next time I play here, there's gonna be a couch and a bed in there. There is. There is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Guys, once again, Alex thank Caldwell. you all for hanging out. Those of you that are here, Billy Davidson, thank you so much for having me. Cindy, also invading your home. Really appreciate it. And, and feeding me your champagne. I actually really appreciate that. We'll see you all back here next Tuesday with Scott Youngberg. God bless you all. If you haven't seen Scott before, you should definitely tune in and check out me because I, I, I love Scott. He's one of my favorite people in the world, man. Hilarious, amazing musician, just all around good dude.